our YouTube, Prince Machiavelli, uh, on episode four of the, I guess, the let's play of the prologue in Attila Total War. The end of the last uh, episode three, we took the settlement Romula. Now, there's a, another look at the new options. You'll see that the main difference is that in Rome 2, barbarian factions had sack and most of the, I guess, the Greek and Roman Carthaginian non-barbarian settlements had loot and occupy. So there's actually... I don't have access to sack yet. You've got access to both. I'm just going to occupy this this time. They did that mission now. And the faction's gone, and that's given us a second province in Dacia. All the buildings are a bit wrecked, so I'm just going to repair them. What do we got here? Goat herd, yep, that's good, that's food. Iron smelter, that sounds pretty good. We do have iron here. That was the main army. Um, we've got a... S oh, sorry, no, it wasn't. It's one full of mercenaries though, so what we'll do is just get rid of all these mercenaries. Mercenary, mercenary. Disband all them. It's just picked up our income a little bit more. And it looks like our general was leveled up here. So we've got two points we can spend. That's probably worth getting, because he doesn't really have a full stack yet. And then we'll go. Let's have a look here. So there's Household. Uh, let's see if we've got any companions. Epic Poet. Actually, I think this guy's not from our faction. Um, let's see if we can check that. This is what I can't understand, is, is Bisma. I'm guessing he's other nobles, so that must be he's from the other faction, so I don't want to give him anything that's going to increase his influence. Public order is pretty low, but I think it'll balance out once uh, the conquest penalties go. I'm not really in need of money, so I'm going to keep it nice and low. Okay, and then I access the governor from here. View governor, there we go, two skills, great. I think as a governor, the uh, search is quite handy. It's only 10% at the moment, but I'm sure it'll increase. This is still really early days, we don't have access to diplomacy yet, so no ability to form trade routes or anything. I'm hoping that once we take this major settlement to the left, Apulum, it is worth keeping watch uh, things will be better. People, chieftain. Disease has the potential to decimate Okay, let's see if we can just check out squalor levels. Squalor levels, sorry. Um, so tell us what squalor is. I'm not quite sure. Hmm. No, nah, there it is. Okay. So it looks like all our squall is pretty good. Let's finish the new technology. Yeah, 
let's go down and get some new units. We can upgrade some buildings. So it's 15 food. Want to be careful that we don't knock off too much food. Um. Yeah, let's go. That. So we've got a mine. Or an iron smelter, rather. Now this guy is just waiting for the onager to finish building. It's on 20 out of 20, so maybe we can get rid of some of these mercenaries. I don't drop taxes down. It's like, well, well, we can't. Ready for battle. See so what we can recruit. Yeah, we'll wait a turn and then recruit everything so we can get some bone meat. Flaming ammunition is going to be pretty useful in these sieges now that you can actually set buildings on fire and have fires spread. All rounder. It's me. Jack of all trades. Buildings constructed. The noblemen of your court grow in stature as the seasons pass. Be sure to keep an eye on their development. Cool. Got some new level there. And we have access to... Ready for orders. Ridges and bone. Probably in spiders. Now we're almost out of money. But lots of stuff building, which is good. Sort of a quick look at marriage. Um, well, so I can't pick anything there. Maybe that's because he's not part of our household. He's got a wife. Good on him. Well done. Now they just need to procreate and give me lots of more generals to. Away. I mean, to raise and train and turn into future conquerors. It looks like our evil Strigoth foes have come back just in time. Public order here is low, chieftain. You must take steps to placate the people, Ooh, wow. lest they take up arms against us. Might be time for a... another general steadfast defender. You sound good. Let's just make sure there's a governor in there. I've got a governor, but... I'm not very happy. Let's fix this up. Go to one of these, I think. All the border bonuses. Uh, we actually need Germanic paganism there. It's not to force that's something we're going to do much. We're only at, I think, 41% there. Yeah. 42%, so it's not really quite high enough. Get a general. It's so fast defender, I like him. No, I'm not. Ah, oh. at the maximum number of generals. Ah, oh, so it's the whole province that we're dealing with. So we actually do have a general there, but we probably don't have a governor. Ah, oh, so governor, the governor of the province, right? 
So it's not settlements. What kind of uh, garrison we have here? Alright, so they'll probably be okay to hold it for a turn. Bad autumn. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Public order minus five. Oh. Fingers crossed. Illegitimate birth. <laughs> a member of your family side an illegitimate son. This may be awkward. Two of them. No, it's the same guy. Rebellion imminent. So I wonder if I can do anything then with. Like, am I meant to do anything with that, or is it something that just crops up later? Yeah, I don't know. This guy's ready again. Let's get him marching across. This is gonna rebel in one turn. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, so they're Gothic Warband now. As soon as Bowmen are gonna become yeah, Germanic Hunters, Archers. Germanic Archers are a little bit better. Alright, we'll just keep marching on. I don't think we have had any buildings finish. Oh. Um, militarized society. Yeah, upkeep bonus, that's perfect timing. Come on, I want Apulum. I want to beat these guys so we can go and start a real campaign. I'm glad I'm doing this prologue though. The, it's really just the UI that's the main difference. The battle features you can get used to. Um, it's just a bit disorientating when you start a new campaign and you don't really know how to do anything. Let's do state religion. That's cool. Let's upgrade these fellas. And here we go. Get him to siege it. We'll siege tower, battering ram. The men shall begin making siege weapons immediately, hmm. chieftain. Let us maintain our siege while they are completed. So they have one barricade. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like... Well, it depends how strong walls are, but we do have onages, so... Start with a ram. I don't think we're going to wait that long, to be honest. But I do want to bring in some reinforcements. We probably can't do that right now with the rebellion about to happen. We'll just sit tight for a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's just attack. We've got siege weapons. Battle of Apulum, here it is. The Visigothic capital. I'm not attacking in fog again. I like the fog, it's good, and you know, it's actually a proper hindrance to your ability to see the the battlefield properly. Which is good. It's a level of realism, but 
it does make moving units around a little bit more difficult and I do want to see if these oranges are a little bit more accurate when there isn't fog and it's a nice clear day. And I don't really have much, so... I think I've actually, we've actually got them outrange, just, I mean, out gun just with the archers, let alone the three units of monitors. But I've got no idea what actual provincial or, yeah, provincial capitals are like in terms of siege defences. The, the little sell settlements are pretty good already with the towers and basic walls, so... Looks like this one's got full walls. Nope. Come on, sunshine. Rain. Takes more to ignite ships, so you can still do it. That's cool. I want fog. There we go. The siege weapons are ready, chieftain. Let us deploy them against the defenders of Aculum and see them in action. Where do we want to attack? I don't like the idea of just attacking straight through Kia. Thirty-four. Seventy-five base damage, one hundred. Damage buildings. We'll go flaming again. Let's see what it's like. Bucks. Let's go on Dramatic Ready. Men of Germania! Battle ready! Do what you please! It's good that they're a little bit more useful with the, the way they can deploy in high formation. It doesn't seem like it has any actual um, downside. Maybe they can't run with it on. Maybe that's the issue. Shock troops. And then now, reserves, I guess. Alright, let's see these things in action. Soldiers, after years of war, we finally prepare to march upon the enemy capital. Sharpen your swords, and let the rivers of this land run red with the blood of our enemies. Advance! Oh, wow, well, that's cool. Oh, man, that's brutal. I'm gonna split these guys up and get them firing at different things. Fire is a potent weapon when used correctly, Chieftain. Torching the city oh, was already burning. Chaos. However, destroying the settlement buildings will make it harder to occupy. How can we light that group of buildings up and just see what happens? Wow, Siege can seem really powerful. Just throw one in there, see what it does. Well, this fort wall's just not breaking. Oh, of course, so the gate's burning now. Wow, siege weapons are crazy.
Long reload time, but that's alright. Let's go fast reload. Oh, that was a nice shot. Well done. You hit nothing. Oh, they're selling out, are they? Alright. If you guys want to do that. Put some moan. Oh, wow. Towers are crazy long range. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. Come back. I wish they had a, a lock-in position option for CG units, as in, you know, put some rocks in the wheels so you can't push it around and then they wouldn't move. I'm saved it has oil, so hopefully it doesn't, but... It looks like the towers are fairly ineffective long range. I mean, they do have a really long range, but... There we go. What else can we throw some rocks up? Now you guys can go for this. Nice bit of cover here. The marches. So they should be able to shoot up into the wall. I think missile weapons in general have much longer range than in Rome. I don't know yet if being mounted higher up gives you longer range or if it's just an increase in damage like in, in Rome. Oh, so these bowmen already have range. What if that's very light bow infantry, so apparently flames are better against light infantry. must be defeated, but the capture of the town is our ultimate goal. Head for the central plaza. Oh man, so cool. What are you doing? Can you not shoot up there? Is that the problem? I guess not. Light parts, no, I'll just go for them. How close do you guys have to get to be able to do anything? Can you shoot them? Oh, that's such an awesome hail of flaming arrows. You guys are all gonna stand in a group and then have to. Oops, we've got some stuff happening here. What are you guys going to do? Heavy melee infantry. It's a heavy shot. We went here. 
Bless their hearts. Uh, looks like CJR is still a bit buggy, which is unfortunate. I uh, read somewhere that they fixed it, but it's alright. Near patches to come, I'm sure. Definitely can't shoot you up here. Warriors! Warriors, oh, cool, so you can light up siege equipment. That's good to know. We started moving up, to be honest. Seeing as it's open now. Alex man. Not Fox. Yeah, there's a lot more micro now because you've got to kind of you've brought back all those unit abilities. I have to get this, these settlements burning. I love these keeps as well. And it's just such an imposing sight. So broken is when they're still got red around them, and then I guess shattered is... I don't even know. Probably shouldn't have guessed. I think when they go white like that, they're gone. Uh, 
of routing. There we go. Broken. Shattered. Yeah, there we are. That's still largely the same. Uh, these... Oh, there's townsfolk now. Are they going to come and... Are they going to come out and... Oh, look at them go! There's townsfolk attacking... What? No, don't do that. Just go hide in your house. Come on. What are you going to do, Mrs. Smith? That's a screenshot. That's pretty funny. I mean, not funny. It's kind of messed up, but... Interesting features of the children had. What is this capture point use? Battlefield wide morale bonus. Alright, that's cool. Might as well start marching up. You guys may as well come stand up here behind you. Oh. Let's try that. Rudako. Now, whatever you guys can go, however you want. Everyone just get up there. Once that point is captured. I want to know what this high threat means, if that's just that they're a, an elite unit, or if uh, it means you guys are actually, you know, they've got a chance of defeating your entire army, or... I don't know. And so when we capture that point, we should get a little buff saying, capture point. There we go, so let's see. No. Maybe you have to get both of them. Oh man, I'm getting shuffled down there. And everyone's got started to go the same way. I kind of thought some of them were going to go up there, but apparently not. See how um, pikes go fighting uphill against what I'm guessing are pretty elite, elite units. Disappointed I didn't get a burn more. Alright, you guys can stop. You guys can get a heavy shot. Yeah. I know I probably don't have the best angle here, but... We'll hit theirs as well. Let's go to precision. Let's get up with these guys. The packs still seem pretty good. Like, they're having a hard time reaching my guys, except for the fact that they keep running into them, but... Rally, plus three morale. Steady. Oh, okay. You don't get actually allocated, is it? Right, you guys get out here. It's like getting a flank. Let's get all you guys out here. Oh, why are you on the. Ah, oh, it's the barricade. That's clever, AI. Eh? Gothic War, yeah, okay, no, that's fine, that's sort of time, but... I 
not want to take the destroy barricade. Not long. Oh, whatever. Do what you want. Let's get in there. The enemy are broken. They turn and run. Apulum is ours. There it is, Apulum. So this gothic, the newly upgraded gothic, whatever they are, warband are actually pretty solid, apparently. I wonder the, yeah, I'm not quite sure where this prologue's going. I mean, kind of seems like... Seems a little bit more in depth than previous titles, but we'll see. Alright, how do we do? Definitely attacked in a long force. Uh, I think we should occupy again. You have further order? The capture of Apulum. Boost the prestige of our people, chieftain. Word of our deeds spreads far from our lands. All right. Establish yourselves as a worthy power. Fathers, priests, governors. So governors are additional. So you need the governor to get the edict, and then that's how they limit it, rather than limiting edicts. All right. Our expansion brings us into contact with new peoples to the west beyond the Carpathian Mountains. With luck, they will be well disposed to our cause. Okay. We can look for opportunities to establish ourselves in this region. The Romans to the west seem eager to secure a trade agreement. Oh wow! Well, I guess it is the Western Roman Empire. That must be pretty big. I guess to set up. Is there anything new in here? Definitely trees. Rose. No. Seems like there's anything too new in there. Strength rank. Oh wow! So we're actually pretty powerful now. Tons, they're tiny. That's good. Oh, wow. The strongest faction. We offer you honest welcome. Speak, friend, and hopefully later we will drink. That's cool. It actually tells you who they're trading with now. Linus and Paran, culturally tolerant. Oh, so that's probably dependent on the um the faction leader. The different faction leaders will affect your diplomacy by the looks of things. I wonder if you can have side of trade agreements, that'd be cool. We are honest men. Cool. Anyone else want to trade with this? No. Chieftain, a word in your ear. Despite the war going on around us, there are always ambitious men who would seek to profit at the misfortune of others. Be sure to keep an eye on the political situation at home. We're at 50%. Ah, oh, so you actually promote you guys up. Oh. Uh, 
okay, so that's the one that we're really worried about. Noblemen gain influence in court as they serve your cause. Keep their power in check before they begin to tilt the political balance. Power of the political party increases with the influence of characters, so that's that. Characters build influence to form actions of the campaign map. Character influence can be spent by promoting them to an office or depleted by certain intriguing actions. Okay. So you should promote your people to kind of keep them down. Intrigue. Actions can be conducted by characters, which are affecting their standing of loyalty. The actions can fail, which may have unintended consequences. This law character will like to instigate some war with the law to the noble who through by promoting him or marrying him or adopting him to the rule. Noble family. So we've got Fritigan, Eletheus, Saffrax. They're actually in the family. Statesman, statesman. Then we have candidates, so I guess they're nobody, and then other nobles, so they're probably the people that we can we can go to a companion. We promote our own guys to companions. Okay, well I'm happy to promote him. Let's promote all its companions. Pretty good and can't be anything. Alright. We'll engage in politics. I think we did that. Embezzle funds. Alright, how do we embezzle funds? Oh, there we go. Intrigue. Yeah, let's do it pretty good. Alright, well, we'll also have to finish going up. Ready for battle! Oh, I forgot we took this. Oh, we've got salt now, do we? Nice, that's always good. Alright, sanitation, that's good. Pretty good. Warriors all! What else have we got here? <clears throat> I attack the screen, that sounds good. Word. Oh, it must be this province here we can appoint a governor. Yep. We will appoint, appoint this guy. Can we not appoint him? There we go. Left click. There we go. Alright, it's got a helmet now. That's quite cool. And it's good, I was worried that it might get rid of the political action, but it didn't. Alright folks, I might leave this episode here. I'll be back with episode 5. I'm just going to keep churning through this over the next day, and then in a couple of days probably start a grand campaign. I've also been fiddling around with some quick battles. Um, so far breaking even with my victories. It's taken a little bit of getting used to with the new AI, uh, UI and so on. And there's a lot of good players out there at the moment. But anyway, stay tuned. Keep checking in. Remember to hit thumbs up and subscribe so you, you know what's coming out. Uh, even if you just check in once in a while. And uh, have fun, Prince Machiavelli. Catch you all later.